to come out to the wide open spaces. It's just a total contrast. Had you, I, you had been in Denver, of course, oh, doing yes, other but, projects. But to, to do something there, to make yeah. architecture there, that's right. what I mean. Right. I never thought of that. I've been right. there before, yes. But, but to do architecture, not in Denver in this case, but to do architecture on the Mesa. Right. Uh, and the right. foothills are, are the Rockies, isn't it? It's, it's, you just can't think of a well, total change from my, pra my professional experience to date. Right. So it, was a, it, was, it wasn't something that I can jump into and say, I know exactly what to do, and then let's get on and do something about it, or make a design for it. No, it took me a long time, quite some time. Very intensive period. Therefore, it doesn't seem long. I mean, maybe only a question of one or two months, but those were very intensive few months that I have to really uh, rinse my brain, so to speak, to, to, to start to make it uh, as uncluttered as possible past experiences and start from scratch. That's what I did. And I went and I, I slept on the Mesa. I don't know how many times I walked the Mesa. I, I drank a lot of wine on that Mesa. <laughs> And uh, it was a very uh, sort of uh, almost a religious experience, you know, mm. the early part of it. It's mm. almost one of that. And, mm. and to try to really get a feel of nature. And the only way you can do that is to be there. Not only, you know, certain time of day, really day and night, sunset, sunrise. Not winter. I don't think I have camped there in the winter. Mm. But I've been there. In enough occasions to have a very good feel of that problem right. before I started to do something. Right. And my, I very quickly came to the conclusion uh, that the, uh, to the scale of the building, you see, we have been always be dealing with scale in architecture, particularly architecture, uh, particularly urban architecture, does not stand alone as a single building. Right. It always relates to other buildings. All relates to the streets, to the parks, to the squares. So scale is a very important uh, orienting uh, design uh, uh, starting point. We have to begin with that. And when you come to this particular situation, you all of a sudden find that you no longer have a Scale the scale. Of view, the yeah. scales of such infinite sizes right. that it's almost impossible for a building to, to at least I thought, to, uh, to relate well with it. Um, the first thought that came to me, of course, is that this had been done before. Had not been done before. Had, had been done. Had been done before because. Uh, Air Force Academy was already right. Right. half built. Right. And uh, obviously I went to see that. Right. And I came away uh, feeling that that's not the solution. It is a, a very viable approach to the problem because simply because by taking a position of being different from nature, you are less likely to be compared with nature. Right. You're already saying we're different. Right. Right. You see what I mean? Absolutely. Where man -made but that is not nature. what you wanted to do. I didn't think so. I didn't think I, I didn't think I could reach that, that spiritual di dimension right. by taking that approach. Right. So the other one is very difficult. And it, right. it was amorphous in my mind for a long, long time.